Welcome to Shuabo on the Amazing Seniors channel. Here, we ask the questions to get the answers on the latest and trendiest just for you, our amazing seniors. I'm Penny Lau and today I'm so excited to have Iris Chin from Kyogo, Malaysia. I don't know about you, but when I first saw this, I thought I was in a set of Terminator. Whoa! Hi Iris, how are you? Good, I'm good. Good to be here. <laughs> okay, can you tell us a little bit more about Kyogo? What does it stand for, Kyogo? It's such an interesting name. Oh. Kyogo actually is the model name of uh, the exoskeleton sk- 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 that I'm wearing right now. Actually, Kyogo is stand for Keep On Going. Uh, keep On Going? Yes, Keep All On Going. Right. It's okay. a short of Keep On Going. Uh, Kyogo is from Canada. Canada? It's, it's developed okay. by uh, what, BGMIA. The company name is BGMIA. It's developed by Canada team. And um, yep, this is the lightest uh, exoskeleton in the market right now, which is only 6.8 uh, kilogram. So what, what you call this this thing that I call the Terminator is known as the exoskeleton. Mm. And it actually helps you to walk yes. and to, to mm. move about. Yes. So that's why you got the name Key Ogo from lah. Mm, keep, keep, on on going. Going. keep on going. Oh, that is so interesting. Mm. So can you tell me a little bit more about this? Uh, well, do you call it a machine? Do you call it a robotic? Uh, well, in this case, it's feet, right? Mm. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about this? We we call this we classify ourselves as a as a thermal skeleton. Thermal skeleton means outside our skin, outside our skin, and it helps us to walk better. If let's say some someone lost uh, balance, lost mobility mm. uh, movement, we can use this to train them, mm. to train them or to help them to walk better. So mm. when you say lose mobility, what do you mean by that? As in like, uh, it, it, who is it meant for? Oh, it's um, normally it's due to the medical condition, for example, due to stroke, mm-hmm. due to uh, some other illness, for example, Parkinson, uh, multiple sclerosis, some uh, most of the uh, neurological disorder. Neurological disorder, uh, which is something happened with their brain. Brain. So this is like a brain injury. Mm-hmm. Brain injury, okay. yes. Like maybe due to the accident, uh, they they injured on their brain. Brain, then uh, then they, they lost the mobility. Okay, uh, and. So uh, so far, elderly, elderly also is one of the key uh, suitable target uh, for uh, Kyogo as well. Okay. Mm. So, so what does it do? I mean, is it invasive? I mean, do you have to like poke needles in there um, somewhere, or mm-hmm. how how do you put it on? I mean, uh, I saw you walking. I mean, mm-hmm. I was just very impressed with the way you know uh, you you can walk in with that, and mm-hmm. you know it looks like something from the future. You know that kind of thing, but. Could you just tell us a little bit more on how, how, how does this thing help you move? How does this thing uh, mm. help with mobility? And I know mobility is an issue as mm. we are growing older. We are constantly aware that one day there could be a possibility mm-hmm. um, of, of not being able to be so mobile on our own, right? Mm. So how does this help us? Okay. Kyoko, we have two sensors at hip and two sensors at knee. So it will it will work with once we the wearer initiate the angle uh, initiate the angle, so the AI will detect and to provide assistance. For example, I want to from sit to stand. So once I move like this, the sensor will detect the angle and then it will provide assistance to help me up. So when I want to sit down, it also will detect my my angle and then it will provide assistance when I want to sit down to prevent me fall. Okay, so the, the, the actuator, the model is over here. So this is where it will provide strength to, to the wearer. Okay, so this is how sometimes we can even do lunges. This is the only exoskeleton in the market we can allow the wearer to do lunges. Oh, okay. So, push up. so of course all the force, all the, all the assistance can be adjusted. So it depends on the, what kind of the training that for example train our therapists they, they will depends what kind of training we want to customize for this patient so we will adjust uh, all the parameters and suit their uh, treatment program so from, from the way i see it it's really easy to put it on mm, yes. yourself and yes. so you you just need it to get it calibrated mm. and then you can actually wear it yourself mm. is it very expensive to own one of this or, or where, how, how can we have access to it i i think that as as we we think about losing mobility mm. i think this is something that that really gives us hope that hey it is possible and i've been checking out and looking at all the videos that mm-hmm. that you have out there and um in japan in canada and people are using that and they 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 regain their mobility again so that they can enjoy their time with their family and all right yeah quality so time. Mm. how easy is it for us malaysians to have access to this 
yep. Uh, so for in order to own this, it, 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 the price actually is, is uh, currently is still in at the premium price. Okay, but uh, that's why we have set up our our own center in PJ. In PJ, the so, Kyogo Center. Yes, Kyogo Malaysia Center in which is um, is located at PJ Midtown, and uh, so the the wearer, I mean whoever who need uh, train to regain their mobility, they can come to our center to to undergo the a series of the uh, training program with us. So it's it's like a, a rehab center in yes, uh, in, in PJ. Yes, in it's, a, Jaya. it's a it's yeah. a robotic physiotherapy center. Robotic physiotherapy, physiotherapy center. center. Oh, okay. This is interesting. So how yeah. different is that from let's say a usual physiotherapy center that we, we go to or you know so how, how different mm, is, is that? Uh, we are the first we are the first uh, center in ASEAN. Uh, in for Kyogo together with our other uh, robotic device. So what uh, make us, I mean our key difference is we, we have Kyogo and others robotic which is to help patients to, to undergo uh, their, 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 to regain their mobility training. So that's the difference because uh, most of the centre, may, maybe they're, they're currently they're still using a lot of manual or conventional method. Mm. So how, how does robotics help us? Is it because it takes that manual labor of holding you up yes. and things like that or yes. so it, it, it mm. senses it's part of it's part of it uh, it's, it's help because uh when come to when come to robotic one of the key factor that we can achieve is reputation for example for a stroke patient uh reputation is the keyword for them to to recover oh okay, okay. they okay. need to be do more more exercise more repeat time to in order to to inspire their neural their brain to relearning the, the mobility ability, oh, so, mobile ability. So it's all about relearning. So yes, about relearning. when it comes to mobility, uh, to keep on moving, yeah, yeah. Um, it's about learning and relearning how you do that mm. in the first yes. place. Yes. So repetition helps. So repetition this machines help. all it yes. helps with the yes. Machine. Okay. Because if let's say we without without machine without without the robotic, uh, they can do it maybe for half an hour. Can they can do twenty times or thirty times. But with robotic, maybe within half an hour, they can do 100 times. So that makes a, make a huge, huge difference whenever they come for the treatment program. Can I, can I say that one of the reasons why it makes a very big difference is because uh, based on what you say, repetition, right? That repetition, means uh, the person is not so easily tired because I think through mm, physio, right. sometimes you get very tired, right? And that slows you down. Mm. So it also slows that relearning process, right? Mm. So with this, the robotics kind of like help you and you don't yes. get tired so easily. Yes, and then to so that the, the section can be longer. For mm, example, mm. maybe used to half an hour, the, the patient will be uh, tired. So we, we robotic help, so maybe they can they can extend to one hour section. Yeah, all this all this is help is uh, also is the key factors for, for the patient to recover. Um, okay. And the, and of course of course it also it also act, act as a smart uh, assistant for the therapist so that uh, it can it can help uh, therapists to cut out all the labor intensive uh, uh, movement so they can focus on others quality uh, quality treatment for that patient okay so th this is the legs right mm. that's why just now when i was like talking mm. to you and you say yeah i'm bringing in my legs so these are the legs that mm. you're talking about right yes, yes. um i understand also you have got some other yes. uh, robotic things and the putting together of all this thing in fact you have coined up a new name it's called uh what was it again rehab biotics right rehab botic rehab botics rehab botics, rehab botics right mm -hmm. that, that helps put this whole thing together so it's a combination of rehabilitation through uh robotics mm. what what other things do you have besides Besides the legs, I, so, I read somewhere you have uh, there. We have we have for the for the thing for the hand for the finger. The hands, huh? Yes, we call mirror hand. Mirror hand. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So the company who behind the mirror hand actually is a rehab ah, which is from okay. Taiwan, mm. from Taiwan. So uh, the, the the difference of the mirror hand is they apply mirror therapy. Mm, in, in, mm. In, when come to the o OT occupational therapy, so they apply mirror therapy to to using the healthy hand to guide the affected hand to do exercise. The healthy hand to mm. uh, to guide the yeah. affected because hand. Because normally to do the stroke patient okay. there will be will be half correct, side correct. affected. Uh, yeah. affected. So norm so their healthy hand they will wear a sensor glove and the affected hand they will wear the exoskeleton uh, hand. 
and then so whatever action do on the healthy side, the affected uh, the exoskeleton hand will follow. So oh, well, I wish you brought that hand <laughs> to show us, but it doesn't matter. I'm sure that we will we'll do that again some other time. Mm. But I mean, this this is great. This is really yes. great news for 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 yes. those who are suffering from some some form of a what were you mobility, saying? Uh, yeah, mobility. Yeah, issues yeah. with mobility, right? Oh, yes. So this really really does mm. help for those who want to walk better because. Uh, if you have family member who are wheelchair bound, they can walk with any assistant. Those actually we can improve, teach them to to improve their walking uh, quality. I mean, get better or whatever, and balance and move, movement. So we have a lot of patients who who undergo training with with Kyogo. They can back to the sport. For example, they're back to the soccer soccer field. Soccer field. Yeah. So they can play to, football even play with football. this. And there, of course, some of them they are wearing Kyogo together and play football from Japan. Uh, they're back to bowling, 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 bowling. bowling wow. They play bowling, even golf. So yeah. this thing is not at all heavy, right? It's, uh, it's, it's they, they, of course, it's certain weight is six point eight kilogram. Mm -hmm. But once we activate, once we once we on our battery, so it, you will feel, you will feel, you won't feel any weight. For okay. The, for the okay. Kyogo. This this is this is really mm. really interesting and mind blowing. I, I mean, you know, yes. um, yeah. I, I think that with this, I think this helps and it solves a lot of issues for people with mobility and uh, and you were you were mentioning just now uh, multiple sclerosis, mm. Parkinson's, Parkinson's, um, stroke, stroke, uh, brain injury. I mean brain, brain injury. Uh, BTI with a brain trauma injury. Brain trauma. Uh, brain trauma injury. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Earlier on, you also did mention that you are coming up with another model mm. that is more yes, suited yes, for yes, for yes. anyone out there to own one, right? Yes, to own one. So actually, um, next year in in our part line, next year we are going to launch a more. Uh, uh, more personal, use-friendly uh, version of the Kyogo. So with that version, the cost, the, the the price will be more affordable, and will be much more user-friendly than the current. So I think the on. key to it is affordability, <laughs> right? Because yes. I think mobility needs to be affordable, and yes, I think yes. if it's affordable, all our seniors out there mm. would really, really appreciate yes, it, right? Yes. yes. Thank you, thank you. I mean, you you've really shed a lot of light on this uh, whole whole matter of, of mobility mm. issue. As we grow older, mobility becomes an issue. But with Kyogo's new rehabilitation technology, we can overcome immobility. Sure, Bo? Sure. See, life begins at 50, so together, let's stay relevant and on top of things that are happening around us and affecting our community. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please drop us a line. We would love to hear from you. But more importantly, remember to like and subscribe to this channel. This is Penny Lau with Shua Bo on the Amazing Seniors channel.